I'm back out here this morning. It's pretty breezy and I'm hoping that my fire will work. I, I've started a little fire underneath the kettle and uh, it'll take a little while for it to get heated up. I'm going to put some water in the bottom of it, about a gallon. That water will cook out over the day as the grease heats. The water will evaporate and I'll end up with lard with no water in it. But for now it helps to get the cooking started and so that it won't burn as readily. Rendering lard over an open fire is kind of tricky because you have to be really careful not to let your fire get too hot. And I'm thinking that the fact that I do have a windy day might be to my benefit because it might blow some of the heat away. I hope it doesn't blow too much of the heat away, but I'm gonna give it a good try and we'll see what happens. I've got a fairly good start on my fire, but before my kettle gets too hot, I want to put the water in because I don't want to put it into a very hot kettle. It could crack the cast iron. Okay, I'll let that heat up just slightly while I go get my Fat. Well, I brought the skid steer over here to use as a table, and I'm going to start putting the fat in. because if you let your fire get too hot and let your lard get your fat get too hot as it's cooking then you'll have a burnt taste with your lard at the end and I don't want that to happen I have done that before and and uh, then my lard I felt like the only thing it was good for was to make soap which is not wasted but it's not what I wanted so keeping your fire so it's hot enough that it's heating the fat and cooking the grease out of the fat particles but not having it so cool that it takes forever and a day to get it done that's the tricky part so I'm trying to take it slow and easy and try to develop how hot I need it to be before it's too hot I'm getting a good amount of steam going as I stir it so I know that it's getting hot in there when it's steaming like that, the water is evaporating. I don't want water in my lard at the end. I want all the, the water evaporated. It's starting to boil, so I know that I need to be careful about how hot my fire is. Uh, it looks like it's boiling a little harder over here on the right side than over on the left side, so maybe I need to rearrange my fire slightly so I don't have quite so much fire underneath on the right. I'm putting about a tablespoon of baking soda in here. It's supposed to help the lard be white, and if there's any odor, it's supposed to eliminate the odor. It sure is making it foam up. I haven't done this before. This is my first time to do it. There seems to be some kind of chemical reaction. At this point I've had the lard cooking for about two hours and I'm starting to feel like I almost need to stand here and stir it all the time. All of the water has cooked out of it 
and it has a tendency to stick to the bottom and I know that if it does stick to the bottom that it will burn down there so I have to keep it scraped off the bottom all the time I think most of the water is cooked out of it because when I stir it now it doesn't really steam much so I'm down to the critical point where I don't want it to burn because all the water's gone it will stick to the bottom more and I have felt a couple times where I had to scrape it off with my paddle from the bottom and that's where it will burn if I let it stick to the bottom down there where it's really hot so I have to keep stirring it I've rounded the end of my paddle so that it can be shaped to the bottom of the kettle it's been about three hours since I started. As you can see, I've got a pretty low fire. Nothing blazing up, just some heat coming off of it. But up here, it's bubbling away. The liquid in it is getting cool, uh, clearer, so I think it's cooking down pretty good, cooking the lard out of the fat there. Okay. We'll just keep cooking and stirring. It's been about three hours and I can see a big difference. The liquid is becoming clear and starting to separate more from the fat particles. I think we're moving right along, but it'll... Well, it's been four hours plus a little bit more since I started doing this. And I feel like most of the lard is cooked out of the fat. It might not be 100%, but I'm feeling a little bit of sticking on the bottom of the pan, which concerns me that uh, it, it could burn. So I'm going to kick my fire out from under, and then I'm going to let it cool a little bit, and I will strain it. The straining and the putting up in the containers will be in a video that I'll post tomorrow so stay tuned for part three tomorrow and we'll carry on with rendering lard thanks for joining me